here are my new thoughts, okay? So zoom down on the daily. We see this A wave, we see this B wave, and we all know that the C wave is, the ensuing C wave is fully impulsive, and the target for that C wave is typically um, acquired by taking the Fibonacci extension tool of the A wave, retracement of the B wave, which ends here, that's the pivot A, B, and then projecting the one to the one, two, three, six, okay? So this is typically the minimum target of this, this projection. Sometimes you can get a seven, eight, six retracement, but that's less frequent. Like I, I don't see that as often. I see it sometimes, but not as often. It's usually between the one and the one, two, three, six, okay? For a C wave extension. And so I believe that we can at least expect a $31,500 Bitcoin. Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is January 22nd, 2022, and Bitcoin is looking like it's not yet done dumping to the downside, all right? Uh, so back to the drawing board. I had 36,700 thereabouts as a support, as a point of reversal and for a few reasons. One, I remember taking the inverse 1618 of a previous wave four in this wave right here. Um, I'm zoomed out right now, but there was a wave four in here and I took the inverse 1618. That's typically accurate, except when you're getting an extended wave five, which we're getting, okay? And that's fine. Now we just readjust and here is here are my new thoughts, okay? So zoom down on the daily. We see this A wave, we see this B wave, and we all know that the C wave is, the ensuing C wave is fully impulsive and the target for that C wave is typically um, acquired by taking the Fibonacci extension tool of the A wave, retracement of the B wave, which ends here, that's the pivot A, B, and then projecting the one to the one, two, three, six, okay? So this is typically the minimum target of this, this projection. Sometimes you can get a seven, eight, six retracement, but that's less frequent. Like I, I don't see that as often. I see it sometimes, but not as often. It's usually between the one and the one, two, three, six, okay? for a C wave extension. And so I believe that we can at least expect a $31,500 Bitcoin, okay, because of this. All right, so that's the first part of my analysis, zoomed out onto the daily time frame. Then let's zoom in and focus on this impulse right here, right? Counting the waves, counting the sub waves, so on and so forth, right? So for that, we zoom in. to the four hourly. And, you know, I'm coming to you first thing in the morning. Um, this is my job, I'm a full-time trader. So, uh, you know, it, I rather do this than a nine to five. It is very challenging. It can be very stressful. It can require long hours of uh, attention. You know, first thing in the morning, I'm checking my charts, I'm checking my, if I'm in a trade, my liquidation point, I'm adding to my margin or whatever, it takes a lot of doing, but I enjoy it. And here, here's me sharing my, my thoughts with you, my, uh, you know, this is what I do to pay my bills, right? So if you enjoy that, if you appreciate that, my sharing my thoughts with you and how I'm navigating this market, then like, share, subscribe, if you're not subscribed, um, all right, so here's my count on the impulse. And again, I've said this before, counting 
waves as they form is challenging, but long-term waves, right, on the four-hourly chart, daily chart, a little less challenging because it's you have quite a lot of information, more data. It's not like a you know, five-minute, 15-minute uh, chart. All right, so I think that this is a two. That's a valid two. The retracement is not beyond the 1618. All right, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five as three, okay? Uh, and this was a tricky wave because because of this, m many people, myself included, thought that this trend was exhausted. Um, but alas, the four wave was not the end. I mean, this was, to me, a reversal of the trend, not a four wave. I was expecting it to come up here somewhere, right? And I thought this was the four. But anyway. Clearly, we know now that this is a four, and this does respect the 382 of this. So if you take the Fibonacci retracement um, to the bottom of three, top of four, it's just wicking above the 382. I showed this yesterday. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four. Now, that's fine. Now, the fifth wave is the most consequential. It's, you know, the, the one we're most concerned with right now. So let me take this off for a second. Let me just hide it. And let me just hide it. Okay. So the fifth wave is what we're concerned with. And so far in the fifth wave, I think it's clear. One, two. And what to make of this. I believe that's three the end of three right here. This is four. And this is wave five of five that we're in right now. Okay. Now, very important point using Elliott wave principles, we know a few things. There's a lot of things we don't know, but a lot of things that we do know some things that we do. know. The first thing is that this wave five cannot exceed the length of this wave three, because Wave three cannot be the shortest wave. Actually, yeah, wave three cannot be the shortest wave, but it's not the shortest wave. Wave one is the shortest wave. Wave So wave five can be longer. Okay, it, forget that. Okay, so um, what's important? What's important here? Yeah, wave five can be as, as long as it wants because wave one is clearly the shortest. Uh, and what's important here? Ah. Here, this extended wave five. And why is it, uh, uh, am I saying it's an extended wave five? When I'm talking about extended wave five, I'm talking about this wave five. Because if you take the inverse 1618 of this wave four, that's where I get my 36.7. Okay, that, that was my 36.7 target. Okay. And that's usually fine. But what we can do. Given that we have an extended wave five here, is we can simply take try again with the inverse one six one eight here of this wave four, which would give us thirty four k, and you see that we we're getting a bounce at thirty four k. Okay, um, but I still don't think we're done. Okay, and not because I'm counting this right the waves here we can try and do that but i don't think we're done because just looking zooming back out to the hour or to the daily just looking at that fibonacci extension it seems as if 30k is indeed 31 32k is indeed the target and we know that there's lots of historical resistance there because we spent so much time uh, consolidating there, okay? So there are a lot of orders there. So I still think that we're not going to stop in the middle of a FIB sequence. We're going to find our way by hook or by crook to this region right here, okay? Um, so that that's one reason. Two, zooming back in, when we're reading carefully this wave, which I believe is the, the final wave, okay? This is the final wave. I think that this right here, 
And now let me show what I hid. Uh, so let's go in here. Nope. In where is it? There. The layers. Um, I think it's here. No, it's not this one. This one? Yeah, that's one. Okay. And getting out of this here. Okay. For me, this is the count. All right. One, two, this two retraces just barely to the two, three, six. So it's valid. Okay. It's a very shallow two. Then you have a three. One, two, three, four, five. We just printed this. Okay. And uh, so here is the interesting part. Uh, what I was saying before, why, why was the idea of knowing that wave three cannot be the shortest wave, just measuring wave one right here. And we're on regular, we're not on log. Let's turn on ma our magnet on measuring wave one. It seems like it may be the same size, if not a little longer than wave three. And it is, do you see that? So wave one was quite long. Now wave three is shorter than wave one, which means our wave five cannot exceed 29832. Do you guys see how that works? Like that's uh, one of the rules of Elliott wave theory. There are guidelines and there are rules. There are unbreakable rules. There are only three or four. And one of them is wave three cannot be the shortest wave. So zooming in, right? And looking at this objectively, I'm just going to move this for a second. This is clearly an impulsive wave, right? I think, you know, anybody, even a novice uh, elliotician could tell you that, right? You have your impulse here, impulse here, right? You have some impulse. What, what you make of it, all right, fine, that's up for debate, but you have impulses here. If this is indeed the first of the impulses, this has to be a wave two. If that's a wave two, then this must be a wave one. If that's a wave one, then whatever this is, maybe three is not finished, but three has to kind of be finished because this right here is the first retrace of after wave one, okay? And this basically shows you that this is two. And so if you take your Fibonacci retracement tool from the top of this, and let's go on the 15 minute time frame just to see a little more detail, okay? So from the top of this two, we're we're already kind of wicking above the 382. So it's likely, it's likely that three's finished, but it's possible that there's one more wave down for three. Okay. That's a possibility. Um, that's a possibility. In any case, what's important, I think, is the large time frame analysis showing the one Fibonacci extension at 31.5. And so I think it's likely, right? I think it's likely if we go right now, if we retrace a little more to the upside, this is definitely the end of three. Okay. Because we're already wicking at the three, eight, two. So if we break the three, eight, two, we know that this, this is the end of three and we're going into wave four. And that's what I'm seeing, but it's also possible, as I just said, that this is wave four of three. And then there's one more leg down for three, making three a little longer, uh, in which case you wouldn't have to. And then you just basically won't have to worry about um, using the distance of one to measure the maximal distance of five. I hope I didn't lose anybody, but it kind of gets in the weeds. TLDR, I think, 
the safe thing to do if you're in a trade or if you're looking to really figure out where we can go zoom out on a larger time frame take your fibonacci extension tool simply take the distance of a retracement of b and target between the one and the one two three six um and i imagine that because we have strong support here at the one and this this is pretty much going to be a repeat of what we get here so that's what i'm banking on this is what i have my uh sort of stops set at i'm laddering in for longs um i think i'm at like 26k uh and stop right now i'm laddering in my longs because remember the retrace the um relief rally is going to be to the wave four of the larger degree okay and i and i kind of said this yesterday i was a little unsure um it's way four of the larger degree meaning you have this 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 impulse this five wave impulse here that is the larger degree right now you're in a smaller degree right you're wave five of five okay purportedly so you're expecting a relief rally to come over here to the 52k region so that's where i'm targeting for my lungs okay and i'm laddering in i was laddering in at 37.6 or 36.7 when i thought that was the bottom laddering in laddering in so that once we start turning around and it's going to be quick we hit that 30 uh that 52 we bounce back and then we come back up again right for two wave retracement um so that's pretty much and it's probably going to come up a little bit more because this is going to be in impulse like that so for wave two likely simple wave two but it can be complex so anyway that those are my thoughts um hope that was helpful hope that was useful trade safe i mean it's not easy but you know you just gotta you know as soon as you get more data reassess more data reassess and refine your analysis and make that inform your trade it's not about emotions you can get emotional but you know a lot of people say don't get emotional you don't need to worry about emotions if you have a sound understanding of uh charting and uh you can you can provide decent analysis to inform your trade so uh, I, I wouldn't worry so much about emotions except when you're like revenge trading or like you're getting into trades and you're you're, you're not taking the time to make uh, a sound uh, analysis all right uh i'll see you guys tomorrow